Hi, welcome to Teen Pride Book Talk. My name is Lucy, and this is the program on AADL TV, where each episode I take a few minutes to talk about a young adult book that is both inclusive and representative of folks in the LGBTQIA plus community. And the book that I am going to be talking about today is called Emmett, and this is by L.C. Rosen. Emmett is a modern day retelling of Jane Austen's Emma, and I thought it was a really fun and really well done retelling of this classic story, putting a lot of spins on it to make it current to make it take place in a very fancy prep school to make its main character Emmett Woodhouse instead of Emma. Emmett is a senior and he is in the middle of navigating things that seniors in high school do. Relationships, romance, does he want to be dating? Um, He's also in charge of planning the school's winter carnival, which is a very big event for this school. Emmett is pretty clear on the fact that he does not want to be in a relationship until he's 25. He has this belief that because his brain has not finished growing, he won't be able to know that he's in the right relationship. You learn more about other reasons why Emmett feels this way as the book goes on, but initially we just know that much. He does, however, want to have physical relationships with people. So he's currently pretending to tutor another student named Harrison, but what they're doing is they're actually just having sex during those tutoring sessions. And at one point, Harrison mentions that he wants a boyfriend. But as Emmett himself does not want a boyfriend, he doesn't want Harrison to think that that's something that's going to happen to him. And so he has in his mind that he will set Harrison up with another boy. And this is very much in the vein of Austin's Woodhouse. Emma is constantly trying to pair people together. In Emmett, Emmett believes that he will be very successful at this because he set his best friend Taylor up with her boyfriend West and West and Taylor have been together and they hit it off. And so this gave Emmett confidence to think that he was a perfect matchmaker. Emmett strives to be a very nice person and he is a very specifically nice person. He doesn't describe himself as good, nor would I describe him as good necessarily. The story continues and lets us really understand that there is a big difference between being nice and being kind or good. Emmett understands that he has a very privileged life. He goes to an extremely fancy prep school. He's well taken care of. He has good friends. He comes from a family with money and he wants to give back as much as he can. He likes to work in the soup kitchen. Another way that he feels he can give back is this way of helping his friends, being nice to them and pairing them up together. Where this goes wrong for Emmett is that he is also extremely controlling. I don't think he sees this or this is intentional, but in his mind, he has paired these people up and he will do everything that he can to get Harrison matched with Clark, who's the person he chose for Harrison. And if he sees anything coming in the way of that, he sort of tries to sabotage it. He can convince Harrison that Clark's the right person for him, but he can't make Clark feel any way about anyone, nor should any relationship be pushed together. But Emmett doesn't have the clarity to see this. And he really has struggles when he's not in control of the situation. This is one of the things that I think makes Emmett Woodhouse a great main character. He's not necessarily likable all the time. He's really frustrating because he's so controlling. And he just doesn't see it. And hes it's always in this pretense of being a nice person. But he's really not being nice because he's really trying to manipulate and control people. And he thinks it comes from a good place, but it doesn't. And I did read an interview with the author where he said he always loved Jane Austen and he always loved Emma. And he wanted to write a character kind of like the original Emma, a character that everyone could hate. And that's a hard character to write. It's not something that authors usually give themselves permission to do. And it's not something that people really like to see in queer characters. But Rosen does it really well here because Emmett also has a wonderful narrative voice. And because we know the whole picture, we understand why he's doing what he's doing. It's just frustrating that he can't stop doing it. This book is really open and honest about exploring sexuality and romance, and it's all done in a very safe and positive way. Emmett's father is constantly talking to him about sex, saying, don't do that yet, it's dangerous, but make sure you use a condom, make sure you be safe, and keeping lines of communication very clear and open. But Emmett's father is also worried about everything all the time. Emmett's father became a nurse so he could learn how to take blood, so he could 
take care of Emmett and he's constantly asking Emmett if he can take his blood to see if he's sick or not. He worries if Emmett is late by five minutes. He worries if he doesn't know where Emmett is all the time. It's a little bit overbearing and it's kind of getting out of control with Emmett's father. And Emmett's mother died four years ago. She was sick and part of Emmett's father's incredible anxiety stemmed out of that this need to keep everyone safe and healthy. And you also realize that a lot of Emmett's need to keep people at a distance and to not be in a relationship comes from the fact that he does not want to lose somebody else. And he doesn't want to pull someone close and have that relationship end. If you're not in a relationship, you can't risk having a relationship end. And so Emmett has a lot to learn about how people get along, how people connect, how he himself might be able to connect with other people. He can anger his friends. He has a very close friend and neighbor named Miles, but they have been drifting apart. And occasionally he angers his best friend, Taylor. So you can see that though he wants to be nice to everybody and and he has these fears about losing people, he is in fact pushing people away because of his desire to manipulate them and his refusal to sometimes see what's right in front of him, even if it's concerning himself. There are so many retellings of Jane Austen stories out there, and I really enjoyed this one. I think it's a great one to pick up. Rosen does a really nice job of keeping true to a lot of parts of the story and really making Emmett a lot like Emma, but then entirely changing it at the same time and centering it around a lot of queer characters and just making it fun and funny and satirical in the way that Jane Austen is, but then also looking a little bit deeper and helping us to understand why some of the characters act the way they do. So if you enjoy Jane Austen, if you enjoy retellings of Jane Austen, or if you just want a great story that is sort of a rom-com, sort of a coming of age, really just a delightful read, then I would highly recommend that you try Emmett by L.C. Rosen. Thank you for joining me.